It's not every day you see hundreds of people lining up to get into the library. I've been here since 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I got off work and I came straight here. On Monday afternoon at Groton Public Library, the line to pick up a free pair of eclipse viewing glasses stretched halfway around the building. When you go in the front door, Miss Kim is going to stamp your hand. And then you're going to walk through in front of the giraffe, through the activity area, and they will give you glasses there. Don't look directly in the sun. Have fun. Come back and check out a book. Members of the Thames Amateur Astronomical Society were on hand with solar telescopes That's cool. to provide a close-up view. The first contact is going to be around 1.30. While others took a more homemade approach including us here at the day, with a pinhole viewer used to record this time-lapse view of the eclipse. Yo, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's overwhelming for me in a good way, because I've never seen the solar, a solar eclipse before. I've, like, it's just really exciting. <laughs> While the total eclipse could be seen from Oregon to South Carolina, Connecticut's view was only partial. I've never been to totality. I'm, in 2024, there's going to be one in upstate New York. I'm going to go to that one because I've never experienced that. Clouds moved in as the moon reached the maximum of about 70% coverage. Dude, that is insane. Oh, this is beautiful. But that didn't seem to take anything away from what, for some, Amazing. is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The next one for this area after that will be uh, 2079. And I'll be 130, so <laughs> hope my eyes are still good.